Hey, hey DV, welcome, welcome to this week's episode of Conquest Journal. I'm Marco. And I'm Brandon. Let's, Let's get, get started. This month is Fire Prevention Month, so we checked on our Fire Tech Academy for some helpful information. Each year, fire safety has been a top priority for our school campus. I've always been pretty good here at Del Valle High School. Uh, the one thing I like to mention about fire safety in general, it's an attitude. It's a behavior. It's how we perceive what fire is and how we're going to react if it should ever occur. So it's an ongoing process in which everybody should be responsible for trying to have those behaviors in place so they're always safe. Fire safety in the Valle High School has improved within the years. Um, it's improved the school by um, keeping the school safe. There's more uh, fire safety regulations which we're supposed to follow. When fire strikes, you never know when it's going to happen. And the issue with fire safety is most of us are never prepared for fire safety, whether it being in the workplace or in our homes. Some of us don't have uh, smoke detectors, some of us don't have fire extinguishers, or we disregard fire alarms in general. So it's very important that uh, we practice very well on what we're doing when it comes to fire safety. To learn more about fire prevention, go to your local fire department or visit www.nationalfireprotectionassociation.org. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Ashley Martinez. Seniors, college is closer than you think. So here is some advice from our teachers. Okay, I attended the Université de Neuchâtel in Switzerland. And then here to get my teaching degree that was valid in America, I went to UTEP. I attended the University of Texas at El Paso, that's UTEP, major in biology with a minor in chemistry. I did my undergrad at the University of Texas at El Paso, or UTEP, and then I got my doctorate from the University of Texas Austin, the law school. I got into UT and I got into Harvard, but UT decided to pay everything, so that's where I chose to go. I attended the University of Texas at El Paso. I got a master's in education. I went to UTEP and my major is American and British Literature and my minor is Professional Writing and Rhetoric. The colleges I attended was one was Durham College and then I attended UTEP where I learned uh, Fine Arts, majored in Sculpture and Printmaking. It's easy if you start early. You know, you start working on, you start asking questions, you start preparing for it, so everything will be easier if you plan ahead. I loved it. That's actually my favorite years. A lot of people love high school years, but I just enjoyed my time. I would have actually preferred to go out of El Paso. If I could change things, I would, I would have wished that my college degree from Switzerland was enough and that I wouldn't have to go back in the United States. When I wasn't doing an extracurricular activity, what I like to do was maybe do like a dance class, um, a weight class, something that was physical because I don't know if you all know, but if you stay active physically, you'll actually accomplish more academically. Going back to school, being a mother, single mother, I didn't go back to college until I was 30. So it was very different from what most people go through. attend class because the problem is that once you realize you have a little bit of freedom and there's no attendance office that's going to call your parents to tell them, hey, you know what, so-and-so didn't show up for class, people start to be like, eh, you know what, I'll skip today, I'll go tomorrow, and then before you know it, you're failing or lost. Go to college, you don't have to know what you're going to end up yet because in the end, where you start might not be where you end. Don't think university coursework is like high school because it isn't. 
So be prepared to find challenges there. Apply for scholarships, apply for scholarships. Be nice to your English teachers so that they can write you letters of recommendation. The best thing I can tell you to do is find the process that you like the most, whatever process that be, make that your career. Because the more you love what you do, the less you have to work. Just stick with it, be consistent, just show up for class and you're gonna be okay. Don't, don't let the partying and all the craziness take over and become more important than school. That's what college is about. It's not really what you learn necessarily, because it's in the book. It's how you learn it and how you're able to look at things and see aspects of it that maybe someone else can't. That's what makes you different. That's what makes you who you are and you have to develop that side of yourself. I know a lot of athletes and a lot of students think that a lot of people can succeed without college, but it's always an amazing experience and it'll actually teach you how to live a more successful life. You have to try college. It's not for everyone, it really isn't. I'm gonna say it's not, but you have to try it because it does give opportunity. It doesn't guarantee anything, but it guarantees that you'll have that door open and then it's up to you to go through that door. I wish you the best. And I want the seniors to, you know, to go out there and show them what Del Valle can really do. Thank you. Next week is homecoming week. So homecoming proposals are well on their way. For this year's homecoming, students are finding creative ways to ask their partner to dance. Some people say going public with a proposal is better because it makes the person being proposed to feel um, special. I think the reason I wanted to make it public was because it's my senior year and I wanted to go all out. I mean, it's the first and last time I'm asking anyone to come in. So I wanted people to be able to see and also I wanted to appreciate her. Uh, what made me want to go public was just because, you know, it's senior year and I just wanted to do it. I figured, you know, it's a senior year, I just wanted to make it big for her. So I really like this girl. So. People put their time and effort into making sure that their proposal is good. Uh, about a couple weeks, maybe three weeks, a month. The idea took me about two to three days. I think about two weeks. Even though proposals are fun and memorable, they also come with their anxieties. I felt really nervous. I, I started shaking. Uh, I did, when I saw her, I was like, oh my god. I, was, I had to step back a little. During, I was really nervous. Um, I, uh, people told me it went good, but I feel like I could have done a lot better. Nervous, I felt like my heart was going to explode, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. The one thing that makes a proposal anxiety filled is the thought of a person saying no. I would have cried and ran away. I, <laughs> no, really, I, I would have been okay with it. I probably would have just been sad and taken my flowers and given them to someone else. I've been embarrassed, first of all, and just take a step back. Walk off, I don't know. Have, have fun with it. They're tricky and they're challenging, but they're worth it because at the end of the day, it's the memory and the experience that counts. The reaction of those being proposed were shocked and surprised. Some people told me that he was probably going to ask me to homecoming, but then I felt amazed and I was happy with the fact that um, I'm going to homecoming with Sebastian. I was so happy. I was. At first confused and then I was nervous and then I was happy. I was like, okay, it's him then. It's good now. <laughs> Reporting for Conquest Journal, Christian Croce. Flores and I'm the public information officer for TV Fire Tech and this is my team. I'm Tony. I'm Amber. And I'm Kian. And we're here to keep you and your family informed how to be safe this month. October is Fire Prevention Month. First things first, do you have an escape plan? If not, why not just draw one out for you and your family so you guys can be safe. If not, get out and, and stay, stay out. out. Remember to check your smoke alarms every month. 
replace the batteries every year, and a smoke alarm is no good after 10 years. These simple tests will keep you and your family safe. And remember, DV, to keep the DV community safe. There are many clubs in Dubai, but one can help you pursue a career in writing. With many organizations competing for a chance to show off what they're capable of, Silver Ink prides itself on the goal of recognition. The sponsors and officers have been working hard for the past three years to make their club stand out. Uh, well, we've been doing uh, fundraisers, and through the fundraisers, we go out and tell people about the club. We also have the club meetings. We participate with NEHS and the Reading Club. Ms. Nieto makes sure to provide her members with the workshop opportunities to enhance their writing experience. I think that it gives them an opportunity to be creative, to write. I know there's a lot of people in the school who love to write and read, but it's not the cool thing to do. So this club gives them the opportunity to get together with other people who like to write and share their creativity. Thanks to the efforts of one club member in particular, the organization was able to represent themselves in the district. Getting like a writing published, it was kind of like a, something in my bucket list. And when it finally happened, I got so excited. Like I cried. I really did cry. And then I came and showed it to Miss Nieto and she was like so happy for me. And it was a very good feeling to be honest. Leslie's accomplishment wouldn't have been possible without the sponsor's encouragement. Ms. Vandenberg and I have been trying to push our students to just submit uh, wherever possible so that they can get their writing known and, and get published. You can find the club at W107 if you're interested to attend their meetings. Reporting for Conquest General Rene Bueno. Here's Brian Valenzuela with Sports Beat. This week on Sports Beat, cross country, tennis, volleyball, and football, all giving it their all. Let's take a look at cross country. On September 29th, Del Valle plays 13th place at Chamizal Park. Now for tennis. On September 25th, the Valle tennis team went up against Horizon High School, defeating the Scorpions without breaking a sweat. Next up, volleyball. On September 27th, they went up against Hanks High School, losing three sets to zero. But that's okay. Catch them on October 13th against East Lake High School. Now what you've been waiting for, the big, Bad blue football team went up against Ganatillo High School only to become victorious with a score of 37 to 14. The following week they played on Hank's turf winning with a score of 52 to 14. Tune in next time on October 12th when they go up against Eldorado High School on Conquest Stadium at 7 p.m. Reporting from Sports Beat, Brian Valenzuela. That's it for this week's episode of Conquest Journal. I'm Brandon and I'm Marco signing, signing off. off. He kicks it in! Goal! That's so the Jujarito! Uh. <laughs> 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 but this program will be performed. It's written by. It's